This year is gonna be better And you're gonna say This year you're gonna be stronger And I'm braver than me This year I'm gonna make it Hey guys, it's Ashley And today what I'm going to be doing If you couldn't already tell by the title Is yes, another fall makeup look Because a lot of you guys did like my last one And I've been getting tons of requests to do more So today I just put together a very wearable fall makeup look Because I paired it with a kind of soft pink lip And whoever said you couldn't wear pink lips in the fall time Completely lied You can wear whatever you want So that's exactly what I did And I absolutely love the way it came out So if you guys like it too and you want to see how I got this look then all you have to do is just stay tuned and keep watching the video and also I am NOT wearing my hair extensions I decided to wear short hair today so let me know what you guys think about it and I am going to be taking the baby ombre out within the next couple of weeks so just just be on the lookout for that and yeah let's get into the video Okay, so I've already started off by applying my Olay Fresh Effects Moisturizer and then I also filled in my brows with my Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to Go Palette and then I'm going in with my Benefit Professional Face Primer and I am just applying this all over my face to minimize the appearance of larger pores. Then going in with Benefit's Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in the color RSVP, I'm simply just applying this all over my lid and this is just going to act as a base color and just make the other eyeshadows we apply on top really pop and stand out. Then using Max Eyeshadow in Soft Brown, I'm using this as a bridge color just so that way it will be a smooth green effect from my crease to my brow bone. Now you guys requested more looks using this palette, so I'm using my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm taking the nude and the champagne color and I'm simply applying this all over my eyelids. Next I'm using Benefits Eyeshadow in the color Guilty Pleasure and I'm simply sweeping this on the very outer corners of my eyes with a tapered blending brush. Next, using Garnet from the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm just taking a tapered blending brush and I'm just deepening up my outer V. And you don't want to drag this into your crease or anything like that. You just really want to focus it on the outer corners of your eye. Now I like to use this as a little trick if I blend my eyeshadow way too high. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the color Light as my brow bone highlight. And I'm simply just going to drag the concealer down um, but not past my crease. I just want to do it a little bit above my crease and then I take a clean tapered brush. Why the concealer hasn't set yet and I just like to blend it so that way it's a really really nice grading effect and there's no harsh lines and I absolutely love this method. Now, moving on to foundation, of course, I'm going back in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Foundation, and I absolutely love this stuff right now. I've been using it every single day since I got it, and I'm just applying it with a flat brush. I got this from Coastal Scents. It's in their bamboo collection, and I'm just applying this all over my face, and then later on, I'm actually going to go in with my... Sonia Kashuk stippling brush and I'm just going to blend everything in together so that way there's no streaks or anything like that and I'm also going to blend it all the way down into my neck so that way you can't see that horrid foundation lines that many girls fail to blend out. Then going back into Garnet for my Lorac Pro Palette, I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm just sweeping this on my lower lash line to connect all the eyeshadows together and this is just going to give you a more completed look which is something I like. Then using a Jordana Fabu Brow Brow Pencil in a darker brown color, I'm just simply using this under my lash line to darken things up a little bit and then I'm simply going to blend it out with a pencil brush by Sedona Lace. I do it all again. Then going back in with my Jordana Fabu Brow in that dark brown color, 
I'm going to use this on my upper lash line, kind of as my eyeliner, but it's not going to be harsh at all. It's going to be very, very smoky. And then I'm going in with Jordana's Best Lash Mascara, and this stuff is my favorite right now. I'm just simply working it at the very root of my lashes, and then I'm working it up to give me a little bit of length, and I'm just simply applying this to my lower lashes as well. Gonna be brilliant this year. As far as concealer, I'm just using Hard Candy's Glamouflage Concealer in the color Light to highlight under my eyes and I'm just blending it out with my Real Techniques contouring brush. Do all the things you said I never could this to add some color to my face, I'm using Milani's Big Blush in the color Luminoso, and this is just a really pretty peachy color and it has really nice iridescence in it. Then I'm going in with Max lipstick in the color Please Me, which is a matte lipstick, and I'm applying this to my lips, and just because it's fall does not mean you can't wear pink lipsticks, always remember that. Now moving on to the hair, I'm using Herbal Essences Heat Protection Spray to protect my hair because we will be applying heat to it. And then I'm adding Herbal Essences Defining Cream all over my hair and basically this is just going to ensure that the curls we're adding are just really really defined and they don't get frizzy. And then I'm going in with my new me 25mm Magic Wand and I'm simply just wrapping my hair around the wand and I'm holding it for a couple seconds and then that's what the curl looks like and I'm going to do this all over my head we all know how to curl and I'm just doing them um, in opposite directions so that way none of the curls stick together sometimes it's hard to get up maybe it's hard to speak think no one understands you feel like nobody sees when the nights dark around you with all of the things you lost now after we've curled our entire head I'm going in with my suave infusion styling oil and I'm using this to break up the curls and just make them a little bit more voluminous because I definitely don't like all my curls you know to look flat and stuff so I'm just running my fingers through the hair and then I'm going in with my Herbal Essences hairspray because I do want a little bit more volume in my hair. So I'm picking up the crown edge of my hair, I'm spraying it, and then I'm back combing my hair just a little bit. I'm not going too crazy because I don't want that big hair, you know? I just want a little bit of volume. And then after that, that's about it. I like to add some hairspray again just on the curls so that way they stay in place, and that's about it. Okay guys, so that just about wraps up my fall makeup and hair video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video. Bye!